at the Beltway. Republican Congressman Tom Cole is with us, along with Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff. Uh, Congressman Cole, first to you. Uh, how can we expect to deal amid all this partisan bickering? Well, I think if the president will lead, we'll put forward real spending cuts, real entitlement reforms. Uh, we'll be able to handle this. So far, he hasn't done that. He talks a lot about a balanced approach. He got revenue uh, last night. Frankly, I worked on that and uh, helped my friends uh, achieve that. Uh, but now it's time for him to live up to his end of the bargain and put serious spending cuts and serious entitlement reforms on the table. If he does, he'll find willing partners in the Republican conference. Congressman Schiff, that is the big question for the next few months. The CBO has already scored the tax deal, saying it adds $4 trillion to the deficit over the next 10 years. Un uh, understanding the Speaker Boehner wants a dollar-for-dollar dollar uh, spending cut for each dollar of revenue reached. That means you need to find $4 trillion in spending cuts in the next couple of months. That has to mean cuts in entitlements, doesn't it? Well, I don't think uh, we're talking about $4 trillion in cuts. Uh, it's going to have to be a balanced program, as the president put forward, where we have going forward additional uh, spending cuts, but additional revenue as well. And that means everything is going to have to be on the table. And, and we cannot afford to go through another bitter fight, uh, this time again over the debt ceiling. That was a disaster a year ago, and uh, we just can't uh, allow... Uh, the GOP to put a, a gun to the head of the economy again. Wait a minute, are you we talking about more? About are you talking about more resolution? tax? You talking about more tax increases in the next few months? So you talk about a, in, a continued increase in revenue. Where does that come from? Well, it's going to have to come from uh, from increased taxes on high wage earners or elimination of certain deductions. Well, you just did that last earners. night. Well, we did some of that last night. Now, if you look at what we've done so far, we've agreed to a trillion in cuts, and we've agreed to $600 billion in new revenue. So we're about uh, two to one cuts to revenue. Uh, as we go forward, the president has said we're going to have to match new revenue with new cuts, uh, and that's going to be part of the debate and discussion going forward on the continuing resolution, on the debt limit, uh, as well as on the, uh, the sequester. But, but again... This is something that reasonable minds ought to be able to come to agreement on. You won't find uh, Tom and I uh, dropping F-bombs on each other. We work together very well. We need the rest of our colleagues to work together very well. Appreciate that. Congressman yeah. Schiff, that may be so, but what about raising taxes for those below the wealthy, especially to pay for some of the programs you'd like to keep funding going forward? Well, in fact, we've done that by allowing the payroll tax to, uh, to be eliminated. But, Going you know, beyond I think, that, though, when we talk about income tax rates, can, the, can those making under $400,000 really expect their taxes aren't going to go up? Well, you know, if, if I had my way, frankly, we would have used the $250,000 level, and that may again be part of the discussion. Uh, we also may look at uh, limiting deductions of high wage earners as a way to uh, bring in additional revenue. So all of those things are going to be part of the conversation going forward. And I'm frankly, it was very important for the president in his press conference the other day uh, to lay down a marker and establish that we are not simply going to be talking about cuts going forward. Uh, this, yes, we have avoided the first fiscal cliff, but we're going to have to go forward from this point on in a balanced way as well. Congressman Cole, we haven't forgotten about you, sir. Uh, from what you're hearing from Congressman Schiff, I mean, how far apart are you guys as we head toward the debt ceiling crisis coming up in a few months? We're a long way apart, quite frankly. We just did revenue, and the idea that we would come back at any, any, in the next 90 days when both the debt ceiling, the sequester, and the continuing resolution all come to a head, I, I just think it's not politically feasible and not wise. Nobody believes that uh, the president is serious about actually reducing spending. And he's got an opportunity here to lead. Well, let me ask uh, you about the, you know, the Congressman Schiff just now. That. Let me just ask you about Congressman Schiff's statement that he'd like to see the tax increase uh, exposure reduced to those making $250,000 or more. Do you think that could pass the House at this point? Absolutely not. No way. Look, we just finished the revenue piece, and this was a negotiated settlement between all the parties. The idea you're going to reopen the negotiations is just ludicrous. And with all due respect, we do work together well. I, I admire Adam. He's a great member of the House. But look, the trillion dollars in cuts he's talking about were from the last debt ceiling deals. The only way we got them. Uh, and you're not going to be able to count them t twice. We got them. Uh, they're done. It's now time to deal with more spending cuts and entitlement reform. There's simply no other way to get there. This is not a, a revenue issue. I mean, we've, we've just increased revenue, as again, as Adam said.
said, both with the payroll tax and on high income earners, it's time for the government to actually go on a diet. And it's time for us to make some really tough entitlement uh, decisions. That's going to take presidential leadership. All right, gentlemen, thank you both. I think we're, we're in for a, a rough few months beforehand, but Happy New Year. Thank you.